Yes, I think we are again. Live from Shanghai. Sound good. Sound good. Okay. I, I was seeing in chat that we couldn't hear my voice. Mm -hmm. Is that the case? Do we have to fiddle some more with the chords? Or if uh, by some miracle, maybe something is, uh, everything is working as it's supposed to. That would be really a shame if it's just the phones. Nah, that doesn't make any sense. I did turn my phone off yesterday. I forgot it today. And now it's good. Now I have it off. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. But anything that works, I'm fine with. <laughs> okay. Yeah, looking forward to the next game, man. It's elimination mode. One of the two will drop out and will go home. Well, Focus still has to play 2-2 two two later today. And, uh, okay, our sound is good. Nice. Okay, uh, we take a look into the studio. Focus is there. He took his uh, jacket off. You and can't. I can see the radiator there in the back. The the white thing in the back. That's the radiator, I think. Yeah, they have to warm up the players' uh, box because it's too cold. It was actually a beautiful day here in Shanghai. 15 degrees, I think, or 13. It was sunny mm -hmm. all day, and uh, of course we have the blinds down in our room, so the camera quality is better. And we entered this room early afternoon and it was still sunshine outside and now I left for a smoke and boom pitch black it's pretty crazy and the next coming days it's not going to be too cold and we still want to go to Disneyland yeah even though the light betrayed us no he, th he, s he said he didn't go what I thought he, w he went he wants to go next week oh okay so we can go together alright I also want to uh, try to convince some of the players to come climbing with us. <laughs> yeah, I agreed to go climbing with uh, Remo because there's a climbing hall right next to it's our hotel. It's ridiculous. There's two climbing gyms in Shanghai and one of them is really close, like about two kilometers away, which is really close for Shanghai. Yeah. And the other one is not too far away either. So we're going to have some uh, fun footage yeah, I will from go the climbing gym soon. I will go climbing for the very first time in my life. And of course, I'm not a very, uh, I'm uh, I'm not a sports person at all. Nah, like you look like one, because I don't eat too much usually. Uh, but I like sports where you have to take care of a ball to not drop on the floor, like tennis, volleyball, stuff like that. There, I'm good at. For some reason, my mind clicks, and you're like, okay, you have to be in focus now. You have to do your best so the poor ball doesn't touch the floor twice. But climbing, man. <laughs> okay, maybe I have to make sure that. Hey, I don't turn into exactly. a ball. You, you, have to, you have to think of yourself yeah, as a ball. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's going to work. Uh, it's going to be fun. Do you also do the hacky sack, by the way? Yeah. Are you well, good at back, that? Back then I was really good because really? I played football for a long time. Uh -huh. um, so I had some control uh, mm -hmm. about it. And, of course, then the don't drop on the floor thing came, came uh, to it. Yeah, I was really good at hacky sack for a while. But nobody's playing it anymore. Did you see those uh, hacky sack of videos of like the Vietnamese guys? Well, I'm not in that good. Just standing in a circle and everything spinning around <laughs> and they're doing it like doing a, uh, uh, yeah, rolling in the air and stuff. No, yeah. uh, I'm not that good. Well, maybe with a little bit of practice. Yeah, of course. I think you could do it. So people are ready. Uh, Focus is ready. He was red before, right? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Lol, Neo clinging to a rock wall. Most hilarious mental picture. <laughs> yeah, you see it. So don't hear any complaints, man. It was the phones. It wasn't the phones. It was the phones. <laughs> it wasn't the phones. Shut up, it was the phone. <laughs> Should I turn my phone back on again no. to see if it becomes bad? No. Oh, Romantic <laughs> is here. Hello. Oh, okay. It's going to take a little while. <laughs> yeah, uh, the two of us and Ugri and Romantic went to dinner uh, two days mm -hmm. ago. And I was so damn tired, I had to leave <laughs> early. But you had a good time with him, right? I really had a good time. We were talking about Foggy. Um, at one point at WCA, Foggy put his keyboard and smashed it on the, f on the ground because he was a little frustrated. And Romantic says, uh, Foggy, Foggy is like Mountain King and press C for clap, you know? <laughs> bum, 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 bum. That was really good. Hey, he's actually pretty good at English. Yeah. Foggy. Uh, not Foggy. Romantic might be better at English than Foggy. Yeah, probably not. You want to say hello? Uh, no, here on stream? No, no, no. no. <laughs> okay, he doesn't want to. He has to be uh, focused, of course, now for his game. So, yeah. Break time's over. Bladder's empty. Games are about to start here. 
They have a new Kappa emote with a frozen Kappa. Frozen Kappa? For winter. Didn't see that before. <laughs> well, we c could have used that uh, two days ago. Oh, yes, we could have. <laughs> <laughs> it was so cold. It when was a romantic dinner. Well, technically it was. Technically it was. When is the 2-on-2? Two two? Right after this 1-on-1, one one, we're going to start the 2-on-2 two two competition. We have, uh, do you know the... Yumiko and WFZ uh, against Fly and Shishi. And after that, it's going to be Law, Lyot and Focus against Ted and... Hainu. Hainu. Yeah, Hainu, former uh, partner of King's Todd, who was in the 2-on-2 two two finals uh, twice in a row. But this time... Only his partner joined because uh, TD is in. And here we go, everybody. This is game number one of the decision in Group A. Focus versus Romantic. South Korea versus China once again. And will he prevail this time? Will Focus continue? It would be great for my fantasy team, to be honest. But we're going to start on Last Refuge, a map that we haven't seen in the previous series. Um, we have seen it, though, against, oh, I don't know, so many games. I think it was WCA, actually. No, it was, yeah, it was the group stage of the WCA, where Awkwaker defeated Infi, I believe. And now we're heading into Korea versus China again. Romantic, he really wants to kick out this Korea, and he didn't want to have to face a Chinese player in this lower bracket. Really wanted Infi to win, and that did happen in the end. The Iceman, our first player in the playoffs, and now he's going up against Focus. And Romantic already starting out with a very unusual early build for Last Refuge. He's going with a Speed Altar build. So oh. I guess most likely going to be going for the Merc Camp with this. I guess you could also take the Goblin Laboratory or the Merchant. But I think the Merc Camp would be the most valuable thing to get early on. Still going for an Archmage. Yeah, we were talking about him. He says, uh, I don't need too much practice when I practice too much. I, I don't think uh, it does too much for me because my mechanics are already good. And I I'm thinking about timings and I'm thinking about strategies and uh, maybe what to do first and what to do next. So that came out of his mind. Early Altar, early Archmage. And maybe it's just for the, shadow, uh, for the trolls, for the High Priest to get it super early and gamble for the Watch Awards and get a lot of map control. That could be uh, a thing. I think if you want to invest so much economy early on, though, and delay your tech, you really want to get a lot of experience on your AM. And also the cool thing with this is, if you use your fast AM with a lot of militia to creep one of the bigger camps here, you can solo creep the Ogre and the Trappers with the militia only, and maybe even these Murlocs. And that should be enough for level 3. And I've never seen this before, I don't think. So, All right, he's not going for the Merc camp. He's going to be going for the laboratory. Whoa, interesting. Seven militia. I know that Hate Love Angle loves to do this very early on, but of course not with human. What Elemental is tanking. There's no way Focus can find him anywhere. Uh, Grunt is coming. Blade Master is coming. And what is he doing? No shop. Man, but he's taking so much damage. All right. Our next Water Elemental is coming in, though, so uh, more blocking to be done. Of course, that is what the Archmage is so great at early on, making it a lot easier to creep than with uh, most of the other heroes. And what did he get? Level two. Oh, just imagine the Book of the Dead. Oh, <laughs> it's the Book of the Dead. Neo Stradamus striking again. Holy shit, Focus Man. Maybe that's the purpose of this strategy. Trying to go for it early on. And yeah, Focus was expecting him here at the High Priest. But yeah, there's no dispel for the mid stage of tier two. He gets the Watcher Watch, that's what he wants. But this Book of the Dead will kill his burrows again. And he has faced oh that God. against Infi. And this is going to oh. be disastrous. Poor focus, man. This is the RNG factor in Warcraft that comes in. I mean, the chances are, what is it, 1 to 6, 1 to 7 on this creep spot to get this item? Yeah, I think 1 to 6. Oh, Look to out! Five. Oh, God. Water metal not quite popping over to the other side, but here we go. Book of the Dead! <laughs> Easy surround on the first borrow. He kills, the or he cancels the other one. Oh, this is just not fair. <laughs> against Infi, he was going up against the Tome of Experience, and now it's the Book of the Dead. Oh, damn. Yeah, really unlucky for Focus. His Blade Master is dropping low. There is no shop for oh, him. Militia so coming from the main. Up, and the Militia is coming from the main, exactly. <laughs> but what can he do against this man? Blade Master is already super duper low. It is level 2, so he oh gets uh, mana for the next Water Mental very soon, producing new grunts. If he can survive this, this would be a miracle for Focus. He's trying to get the burrows back up. The um, skeletons are retreating, attacking the barracks now. With so much more normal damage. Yeah, this is... He doesn't even have a shop. No Hoodle Lounge to heal. Yeah, up yeah. With. Oh, Jesus. 
Lumber Mills coming up for Romantic in his base. More and more footmen. This will be Tier 1. And this could be the fastest game that we had in GCS this year. Alright, what does he do from here? He needs to buy time for a second hero, I guess. Maybe go for a hero cut. But how can he do that with a Blade Master that is so low? I think he should go out with a Peon and build a Voodoo Lounge somewhere. But he's not doing that. Maybe a little bit overwhelmed. I mean, how many times has he faced this before? He has played Warcraft so much, but it's certainly the first time I'm seeing this last refuge, uh, Book of the Dead instant tower rush. But it yeah. seems to be working. Focus is trying to get the warmer up, but still, I think the Voodoo Launch is the big issue here. The Archmage is gone and uh, close to the main base. There is no shop for him as well, so maybe he can hunt it down. But where's the firepower against the footmen and the militia? There's nothing against the towers. Arcane Tower is c almost ready, and the last production building for Focus is falling as well. And uh, there's no repair against that, no grunts anymore. And he's not fast enough to kill the Archmage in time. I mean, there's boots on the Blade Master, there's none on the Archmage, but there's still a TP, so he can't kill him. And now he's even losing the War Mill. No towers to be coming up. Maybe he can set up one right now or two, as long as he... Ah, oh no, never mind, it's not finished. Lulz. And now, what does he have in his main? He can get a Shadow Hunter. he has the resources. Or maybe a different hero, a hero that's better on level 1, maybe? I think Serpent Wards could be pretty good, but then there's Defend, and you counter the Serpent Wards. Next Boro is in trouble, it's being mass repaired. The damage from only this footman I don't believe should be enough, but this is so many resources. Archmage almost dead and he denies himself to the creeps, but it's only level 2 Archmage, so that shouldn't be the biggest problem. No water elementals anymore though, all the grunts are walking into the towers. Ugh, this hurts as well. There's still no shop. Uh, still no shop, yeah, that's the big problem. Still no second hero, he has the resources, but yeah, he's not going for it. No, he doesn't have enough lumber Oh anymore. yeah, lumber because of the repair, sure. He's gonna get two footy kills here, but oh, he needs so much more. He needs so much more to win this game, to turn it around. Now going up th against three guard towers, it's about to be five. Oh, no mana on the Blade Master and just 100 HP. GG! And this game is over. Holy crap. Poor Focus, man. We always this say he's so lucky with items. Yeah, but this time... He is so like, unlucky with his opponent's items today. Six minutes and nine seconds and it's over. Oh, boy. Do you get tilted by this? I don't think he's a person that, get tilt that gets tilted. He just uh, plays the next game. But... Yeah. I mean, even if he wins the next map, there's still Romantic's map choice that he has to beat now. And... Mm -hmm. Doesn't look good for the career, doesn't look good for my fantasy team. I had so much faith in focus, but what can you do against the Book of the Dead on tier 1? I mean, I if you're a Night Elf, yeah, you take a Wisp and boom, everything goes up, but... I mean, uh, yeah. No, there is no chance against this. And I mean, like, there's nothing you can do about this, right? Even if you go for, theoretically, fastest Blade Master you can, speed scroll, run over, you're still gonna be too late for uh, getting the big creep or the stealing the item or anything, yeah. I think. And I mean, if you don't do that, then you waste a massive amount of gold and time. Yeah. Pretty cool strategy by Romantic. A little bit cheesy and uh, going for a gamble there, but if it works, oh boy, <laughs> is it ever so powerful. And it did so work. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, I think... There's nothing to explain here. You see the skeletons and that's just it. And Focus couldn't kill any footmans either. He decided to go for the hero kill super early. And then you have to go with it. And if you keep the numbers of footmen uh, high as a human, there's no chance for the buildings as well. Next game is up. Ancient Isles. All right. Losing no time here. This is Focus's map choice. Pretty hard for the AM to get level 3 here if the Org is on his heels. AM didn't need level 3 though uh, in the first map. Of course, Book of the Dead making all the difference. Is there something like so unusual in terms of creep routes he could do here? There is the uh, instant laboratory creep. And it's really risky though. Poison and everything, the troll warlord with a lot of damage. Yeah. So I think that would be a little too dangerous to go for. Players are ready. We're waiting for the highlights here to conclude, and then we should be getting into our next map in just a minute. Yeah, will it be two Chinese humans? Focus has to win two maps in a row to not drop out. I mean, he still has the two and two competition to play with our Lyot together later today, but holy cow. 
I mean, Romantic is still a strong player. It's even hard to beat him one on one. And Focus is not the guy for a cheesy tactic or anything that would surprise Romantic here. And the game starts, everybody. I think we will see the players once again in their booths. And as I say it, they switch it. Okay, focus. Yeah, looking not too happy, obviously. All right. And Romantic, 2-0 before. Is this confidence going to be well-founded? We're going to find out in a second. I'm going to look at the altar. Is he going to be power building it this time as well? No. <laughs> so, normal altar speed, normal archmage pop out speed. And this is most likely going to be the ogres first. And the blade master. Going to be trying to stack up early as best he can and then harass. It's uh, pretty much the same always in this matchup. Keep the AM from level 3 as best you can. If you can get level 2 on the way, uh, that is fantastic. If you can get level 3, well, that's kind of unheard of. That doesn't really happen. Most important thing is keeping the AM from his Water Elementals level 2. And on Ancient Isles, there's very few camps that the militia can take by themselves. In fact, it's only one. It's only the little tiny creep camp, the green one right next to the main. And the AM, honestly, can only take these green camps by himself. Maybe the Orcs green little camp. But the middle knolls are hard to take. Footmen can really reach. Water Elemental will get purged if you, don't, if you have it attacking. Um... But we've also seen uh, quite a few tower rushes here with a Fire Lord as well. I remember a game of Yumiko which just looked way too easy with a Fire Lord. Did we see the Fire Lord yet in this tournament? No, we didn't. Uh, of no, course, the so. thing is, if you kill the Lava Spawns early enough, then he's just super weak. Especially against the Blade Master, who can, if he is lucky, chop him down in three hits. You have to use a lot of heal potions, which are, of course, expensive. But yeah, focus uh, building a shop now um, early on. So he will go out on the map, I think. He can go for the Magi's, right, at the shop, the focus creep on this map, but of course it's super risky. That's the Null Overseer, though, my friend. Ah, yeah, of course, I'm sorry. Yeah, he's going to go for his own Magi, that's going to be uh, the Claws, if he's lucky, and most likely going to be leaving the rest of the camp, and then, yeah, going on the chase. That's at least, at least what I expect. And romantic, showing that he is definitely prone to tower rushes if an opportunity presents itself. Because in a straight up game, in a one base game, we have seen him, well, outclassed is a strong word, but it certainly seemed like Focus was a stronger player in that uh, matchup. Yeah, absolutely true. So. Creep is going down, and he finds Claws plus six. Romantic again, pretty lucky. Focus on the other side. Circlet, also very good. Losing a lot of HP already, half of it, but there's the shop this time. One burrow attack again, going for the second burrow immediately. So Romantic a little slower on the attack, but I think he's not going for an expansion or some crazy stuff like it. What's he going to do now? Is he going for an harass? He's not level two, as this always is the case on Ancient Isles. Focus is only going for the item, not for the two remaining um, creeps. Is he going for the second circle as well? Yep. Yeah, second circle, plus four damage, a lot of HP. Oh, and he missed the human moving past yeah. the map. The grunt just barely didn't see it. Yeah, this was really close. And now he, Romantic taking out his creeps that are usually made for the Shadow Hunter or the second hero of choice. And this is level two for him. This is the Brilliance Aura. And one more Water Elemental already due to... And again, he decides to creep out on the map, exposing his main base. Will this be I don't like this. The same mistake three times in a row. Well, last time wasn't uh, a mistake of his, but losing Burroughs so early. It's four footmen, and he can go join in. This time, the peons are there to surround. The footmen have a hard time attacking it, but there's one burrow coming up, and the other one is exposed. Oh, Focus, he this is, is so, so greedy far by him. away. He's still continuing the creep. He's going to get the item, he's going to get the level up, ring. is it going to be a good one? No, only the ring. He has one grunt, a second one coming out right now. He can go for a third before his borrow dies, but still, this is already taking so many resources, and I think this should be enough damage to kill the borrow. Please go for one more grunt, my friend. He has the resource, he has the capacity to do it, but he doesn't do it, and the borrow falls. Oh, oh man, and the water elemental expires right after. 
Oh, he's going for the next one. Can the peon repair against this? I mean, he was only mining gold with one single peon, and this is disaster for focus again. This is just painful. <laughs> hard, so hard. Foot, uh, the Archmage gets the boots on the right shop and the circlet for more mana. He has another water elemental. He can continue the pressure as he knows that uh, there must be a borrow coming up and everything is exposed and he can easily go into the main base. But he starts to creep now again to get to his level 3, which will be the case here after this brood. And again, he's going to have a level 2 water element. He's going to be able to put on big pressure with a tier 2 tower push and focus once again his main base in shambles. I can't believe how he keeps on being so greedy out on the map to creep, even though he has no idea where the human is. Honestly, this is all on focus. Yeah, I agree. Too risky. I mean, of course, you have to take risks on this level to beat your opponent, but... If you're if you're trusting in the item drops and if you want to get the claws, you have bad luck with this and romantic. He's going for the kill now. Beastmaster is up. Quill beast, double arcane sanctum. This will yeah, he wants to end this soon. And the beastery is coming up, but it's so exposed. He can easily get that again. Shadowhunter is coming. At least he was able to finish that burrow, but for how long? Oh man. It's gonna be another water elemental in a second. And more quill beasts. This is <laughs> A catastrophe. Still no mine, or again no mining being done here by the peons. Losing so much gold. Blademaster now coming in, but he has to chop so heavily. Finally finding some critical strikes. But the water elemental is even being, even being denied. He's being denied that experience. And two grunts. That is not enough damage output to deal with all of this. But the SH is going to be out here in a second. Maybe he can get, I don't know, a Beastmaster kill. But even if he gets that, he's only level 1 hero. And he's going to have used most of his mana. And he loses the burrow again. Supply blocked again. This is humiliation. This is absolute catastrophe. I think the only thing that can help him is Hex, Critical Strike and a lot of luck. But how do you want to face the push that is coming? I mean, the casters are already coming, the shop is up, you can get Ivory Towers, you have a lot of summons because you can buy Clarities. And you don't have Raiders, you don't have Walkers. <laughs> the next Boro gets cancelled. <laughs> the Quill Beasts, man. <laughs> and these these heroes, man, are just walking across the map. What's he hoping to do here? I guess maybe pick up more footmen with Hex. There's only footmen. All right, at least these two boroughs will be coming up, but still no tier two facilities to speak of. And he's looking for more pickoffs. Blade Master has quite a bit of mana. He might be able to get the sources, and that's actually a decent pickoff. Yeah. <coughs> with the slow being missing for much longer. And the sword. Oh, he blocks it with the priest. Well done. And not enough crits for focus. The luck has really abandoned him. Yeah, that's right. He sends the sword back in, so this was all for nothing. But the next one is out already. Shadowhunter has a bit of mana left, but almost no healing for the Blade Master anymore. He gets the next sorcerer, so that is big and nice save by focus, but... Okay, he's not revealed, so he gets out there. Has to for more. <laughs> yeah, what? This is way too dangerous. Uh, but he's, he's certainly buying time here. But militia are coming. Do we have ivories? We do. Wait. Two on the AM, one on the beast mass. Wommel and Beastry is coming up for the orc, but it takes some time, and he needs to buy some time. Engine Isles is so close, the militia is already running over. How much mana is on the Shadow Hunter? Nothing, basically. The shop survived this, so he can get clarities. And he fought Heiser. this so He's many pulling times. pulling the creeps here with the SH. That's nice. pretty cool. Yeah, we saw that before on Last Refuge in a game of focus. Pulling the creeps to intercept the uh, tower rush, but Romantic doesn't care. And he walks straight past them. Another not overseer. Does he want to kill him? No. No, doesn't matter. He just says no. Okay, focus. <coughs> Defending for the tournament here, or he's out. Blade oh. Master close to level 3. He has to go for crit. Going for the Beast Master. Speed scrolls around, maybe. If he can take him out, there's uh, no more Quillbees, but no. Doesn't go for the surround. Doesn't stick. And the tower's right in front of the Voodoo Launch. This will be a slow tower rush, though. Kodo Beast early, but everything is so late. Usually the Orcs are already prepared for m with Headhunters, with Kodo Beasts. And the Blade Master is dropping low. Has a potion, though. Uses another speed scroll. So he can't use one for an engagement or a disengagement. 
But now he's really stuck here. The weird borrow placement makes him stuck behind the gold mine. Yeah. He can't reach his shop at the moment. Does the blade master have mana for a wind walk? Yes, he does. Maybe he should do that very soon before the shop falls. He has money to buy some heal selves, but the shop is gone. No more consumables for the orc for a while. And he only has two selves left. He gets a level three on the blade. Is he looking for a hero kill with this? But he can only... Uh, going for the AM. Does he have a hex? He does. But the slow is there. He has no more speed scrolls again. The shop is gone. The towers, though, might not be coming up. The Kota Beast dealing decent damage, eating a water elemental here. Oh, he's gonna get the shot, but the Gruntsman, they're both so yeah. low, they're both slowed, and they will both be falling. And there's only one heal self anymore. Yeah, as you said, they die. And level 3.3, level 1.5. What does the Blade Master do now? Okay, we have a catapult. I think he killed his own Bolo right there to be able to maneuver in the back of his base. So this time he's supply blocking himself. Constant reinforcements of summons, of course. How much mana does he have left? No water elemental currently. Beastmaster. Oh, he has almost 100. And focus is supply blocked again. I mean, 33 food against 45. And summons. Doesn't even need the towers. He's slowly wa uh, crawling forward. But he doesn't have a lumber mill. So no guard towers. So maybe if Focus can try to not lose anything and get a big army behind his main building. Oh, Beastmaster? Ah, oh, that's okay. He's safe. The Kodo Beast helps, of course. Good damage boost. He can eat units. There we have it. First break is already coming for Romantic. And still no level 2 on the SH. Nope. Oh, the catapult. He needs to save it somehow, trying to repair with as many as he can, pulling all the gold peons, but it's not enough! This water elemental is so close! And that's level 2 for the Beastmaster. Ne the Kodo is next. Focus, the second Korean Orc who will be eliminated after Soen. And yeah, without the Kodo, it's only the heroes. I mean, the Burrows can help a bit if Romantic dives in too deep, but... Look at the army. It's, it's ridiculous. That's too much. 23 supply only left. But uh, there is another map, of course. Isn't there? No, Romantic is ah. leading 1-0. Oh, I'm sorry. Brain. <laughs> sorry, my brain isn't uh, complying. <sighs> Did this turn into his bad matchup again? The he tower rush two times in a row. We all thought he overcame this, but it's again, it's land and focus. The two things that doesn't fit, and he is out of the tournament. Romantic, the second Chinese human to make it into the playoffs. And yeah, there we have him. <sighs> He said this would happen. He said he would beat Focus. He said uh, he would be happy to eliminate the Koreans and not a Chinese player. And that's exactly what he did. A man of his words. I didn't think this would happen. Me neither. I am very, very surprised. Focus starting so strong into this, but the winner's final isn't enough to make it to the playoffs. Drops down versus Infi and 2-0 versus Romantic. And this is, I guess, bad news for 1 to 0, being uh, two, yep. two humans in the quarterfinals already. Yeah, that was the last one on one for today, but we have the 2 and 2 coming up while we see the highlights again, or the end. The, I think there the game was already over. And I can't believe he was so greedy, creeping out so far. <sighs> This was not the focus that we've seen online recently. Mm. No. That was miles from it. I don't know what exactly it was. Was it just sleepiness or something else? Yeah, he is a little sick, he says. So he has to take some medicine. And he said he feels sleepy because of it. But that can't only be the only option or the only reason for this. He has a, a mental block on land. This is crazy. Too bad. I would have liked to see him finally get far. <laughs> Not this time, but hopefully there's going to be more opportunities for him in the future. Well, he still has the 2-2. Two two. He will uh, play again today. That's true. That's true. Against uh, TED and Hainu. He will have a break. Maybe he can reset his mind and uh, with his partner Lord Light by his side. This looks a little different. But this must be so frustrating for weeks and weeks he was slaughtering humans in online cups and today man just not his day
And yeah, we're, our next match is gonna be the two and two. First, it's not gonna be Lala and Focus. First, it's gonna be Yumiko and WLZ versus Fly and Shishi. In a combination, a very unusual one. Yumiko and WZ, of course, playing human and undead. And everyone, everyone we have talked to here at GCS said that combo is so bad. Mm -hmm. Once you make one mistake, it's gonna be over. Yeah. So, gonna be interesting to see how they make it work. Yeah. Once the catapult was gone, um, there's no way to, to deal with the towers. And then the Kodo beast is next. I mean, she was doing her best, or it was doing its best, to. Get rid of some units, swallow the water elementals, but yeah, this catapult. You can't deal with the castles anymore. And snare and demolisher shots could have been an answer, but uh, just no way. Just no way. This is the return of the tower rush. Or was it just uh, focus? I mean, if you're so enough. far out of the map and. Well, he was a bit unlucky to not scout it. Well, the grunt missed it a, like b by a bit, and then I think it wasn't the tower rush. Uh, it was the uh, yeah, the harass before the tower rush was was just the nail in the coffin. But the development started before, and the downward spiral he couldn't stop it anymore. Yeah. And yeah, that's what you have to do. Look out in the early game. Keep an eye out for the Archmage. Keep him from creeping. If he's heading towards your base, you want to defend your base, not be creeping out yourself on the middle of the map. So sad. I was expecting so much more from him. He may not have been in my fantasy team, but I thought in this group he would be having a good shot with Soen being definitely the dark horse in the tournament and in that group, and recently him being so strong against human. But everything has been turned around. Day one was uh, the favorite prevailing. Yeah. On our day three, focus, who we were expecting to go further. He's missing out. And for the first time since a uh, few weeks, we have China being dominant over Korea. Right, that's true. WCG was uh, dominated by Koreans with Lalaid and Lin taking one and two. Now it was uh, a little revenge for them. But yeah, will this continue in two and two? This was the last one on one for today. Tomorrow we're going to continue with the conclusion of Group B, where we have uh, Jack, and who else was there? WFZ. Fly and WFZ, exactly. So and Colorful. Colorful is out. Ah, Colorful is out, that's right. No so Colorful. No Colorful. But uh, that's going to be good. So if you're just here for the one-on-ones, then uh, come back tomorrow. But I would highly uh, advise to watch the 2-2 two two non-stop action and the best 2-2 two two players in the world facing each other. So we're going to a break, and we'll be right back with a TD and High New... No, with... What is it? WZ and Yumi versus Fly and Shishi. Exactly. See ya.